Everybody, welcome to Jimmy Dore Show. I'm here with Mark Van Landewood and the Miserable Liberal. Hi, Jimmy. Greetings, everybody. So Nancy Pelosi went on, uh, she did a town hall with Joanne Reed on MSNBC, and we showed you before uh, the young woman, uh, black lady got up, asked Nancy Pelosi if she supported Black Lives Matter. She said all lives matter. Mm. And now Nancy Pelosi is going to be asked what she f- she thinks about uh, Medicare for all. Now, Nancy Pelosi launches into a a word salad that is very heavy on the bullshit dressing. (laughs) So watch this. For the speaker is what approach will the Democrats in the House take to fixing the Affordable Care Act? Thank you. Well, thank you so much for your question. I think that the reference should be the Affordable Care Act. It is... uh, we are very proud of the Affordable Care Act. We think it, it was an, a generational opportunity to establish a... We're very proud that there were no price controls, that it was literally a gift to the big pharma and the big health insurance companies that left 30 million people uninsured. We are very proud to do the thing that Mitt Romney and any other Republican would have got done had they been elected. That's what you're proud of? That's your achievement? A right-wing health care plan that leaves 30 million people out and no cost controls so people still go bankrupt whenever they get sick. That's what you're proud of. Okay. Pillar of economic and health security on a par with Social Security, Medicare, Medicaid, so, um, Affordable Care Act. No, those are all socialist programs. Medicare, Medicaid. Social Security, those are known as socialism. The Affordable Care Act is known as corporatism. That's a for-profit health care solution that what does it do? It leaves out 30 million people and costs us twice as much with worse outcomes than the rest of the world. So the ACA is nothing like Social Security or Medicare. Nothing like that. And by the way, she knows it. So this is, again, your leader who's opposing Trump and we're supposed to hate Trump because he lies and everything. And she's lying. And she because what she's doing is called gaslighting. And that's a form of lying. A path uh, to uh, uh, ensuring every making sure that everyone has access to affordable quality health care in our country. Uh, There are some challenges that we face because certain things have expired within the bill and have not been renewed uh, by the administration. A very, very dangerous thing that the administration did. They couldn't they couldn't overturn the Affordable Care Act. And you know why? The American people spoke, told their stories. Ten thousand events around the country. Let me tell you something, Nancy. You know what else the American people have said? Nine out of 10 Democrats say they want Medicare for all. The majority of Republicans said they want Medicare for all. The overwhelming majority of independents want Medicare for all. The country spoke. They want Medicare for all. You won't touch it with a 10 foot pole. So this idea that you're celebrating the will of the people, you're celebrating the will of your donors, which is big pharma And the big insurance. That's what she's celebrating. Because if you really wanted to celebrate the will of the people, you'd be screaming at the top of your lungs for Medicare for all. But you're not. In fact, you're about to tell us why we can't have it. 10,000 events, town hall meetings, press conferences, visits to offices and the rest. Little lobbyists, little children with physical challenges, pre-existing conditions. Uh, people with pre-existing conditions, 123,000 million, 120 million families mm-hmm. affected. So they fought them. However, in their tax scam bill that the Republicans passed, they took away uh, the, uh, the individual, individual mandate. mandate. Mm-hmm. And that was very dangerous in terms of uh, the Affordable Care Act. So we would have to replace that. A couple of things that I would do is to raise the... Uh, uh, income level at which people can get subsidies, so more people would be able to get the subsidies. I think that's that's very very important. Uh, strengthen the law so that it is required that states will have um, uh, expand Medicaid. Very very important. Uh, but the the virtue of it is that not just 20 million 
more people had access to health care, which would be a justification of itself, mm -hmm. is that 123 million more families and almost would have access, even though they had a pre-existing condition, and many more families have better benefits. So the entire population benefited if they availed themselves of it or if their states enabled them to avail themselves. So, mm -hmm. But there's certainly, with any bill that is passed of that magnitude, places that we know we can improve. Uh, but now... I, I can't, it's just, who the hell can listen to this? Who can freaking listen to this? Jimmy, she uh, is... So, um, so, you know, and, uh, well, with uh, all those, and what we can do is lower the cap of that, and then I'll get... And then, of course, the states have to do the Medicaid expansion, which is very important, and then the individual mandate, and then we have a Knutin valve, and then I have another thing, and then we have that. Medicare for all. Oh. Everybody's covered. Nobody left out, and it saves us money. Boom. And you don't have to worry about all that bullshit. Nobody can even say, can't even keep, they can't even keep your head up listening to this. This is her big plan. This is her big plan. I can't imagine why it doesn't rally people to the polls. This is her big solution for you. You can't even sit through without your head falling off. Jimmy, we she is a master a legislator. She's a master legislator. I don't legis know if you know that. And I think what it comes down to, she just wears you down with word salads. Yes. The problem with the ACA, it was a market solution to a social crisis created by markets. Yes. yes. And the ACA, it's great that you cannot be denied coverage, but you can be denied treatment. And this great victory about pre-existing conditions. What are pre-existing conditions? It means you're sick. Yes. It means you're sick. The people that prevented people from getting coverage are the people that were keeping in uh, uh, in extraordinary profits. So this system protects the health insurance profiteers who add nothing, add nothing to a person's health care. Very well said. Let's listen to some more of this. Word. I, I know this is painful. It only goes, I, you know, she's only been talking for 20 seconds. It sounds, seems longer, right? <laughs> It literally goes on for about two more minutes. So I know it's going to seem like 20. It's inspiring me. For some of what reinsurance that the Republicans would not, would not um, uh, renew. Some things that we... Now, if this was Bernie Sanders, and they, he was asked, they said, well, we do Medicare for all, we get everybody covered for less money. And the place would come to its feet, <laughs> and people would be cheering. Do you see the difference? Do you see why Hillary Clinton lost to Donald Trump? Do you see why nobody half the country doesn't vote? Do you see? And do you know why she sounds like that? She doesn't sound like that because she's dumb. She sounds like that because she's bought. That's why she sounds like that, because she doesn't give a fuck about you. If she did, she'd be screaming for Medicare for all. She doesn't give a fuck about the 30 million people left out of that. She cares about keeping power and pleasing her donors. When you mentioned other options. So watch this. Here, here we go. Joanne Reed's actually going to ask the question. This is kind of amazing. Joanne Reed actually asked the question. Here we go. When you mentioned other options, Medicare for all is obviously a very popular one among a lot of your caucus. Um, we now... She, of course, she misstates it. Medicare uh, for all, very popular among your caucus. Very popular in the country, not just her caucus. Very popular in the country. The overwhelming majority of people are for it. Her caucus, it's almost ubiquitous. Everybody except her is for it. The vast majority of Democrats want Medicare for all. The majority of Republicans want Medicare for and all. And independence. And independence. Nancy Pelosi doesn't want Medicare, Medicare for all. all. What does that tell you? That tells you Nancy Pelosi is your enemy. Nancy Pelosi is the person we have to work against. She's the one standing in our way. We have to fight Nancy Pelosi. She is not the opposition. Learned that Thanks to the changeover in leadership, there will be hearings on Medicare for yes. All. Do you expect the Medicare for All bill to come to the floor this year? Well, the, 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 understand this. No. That's all, folks. No, I'm not doing it. I mean, what you have to understand is no. 
Can you believe this? No, it's not. She's not even going to. If the Democrats pass Medicare for all, which the country is for overwhelmingly, it would A, get people to the polls so they could win next time. B, it would then out the Republicans for denying everybody what everyone wants because the Democrat, the Republicans in the Senate would have to crush it. Or if they passed it, Trump would have to veto it. And if they did it, we'd have Medicare for fucking all. But they would, and that's your advantage. The problem was that the Democrats don't have an advantage because they're not any better than the Republicans. They also want to keep you from Medicare for all. That's why they. she's not going to give you the advantage, and then she's going to wag her finger at you for not voting for blue. She's doing things that suppress the vote right out in the open. But people will, again, stu- the stupid celebrities will be angry at Susan Sarandon and Jill Stein and me and people with no money and no power, except the person who actually has the power to enact change and inspire people to go to the poll because she has that power, isn't going to do it. Why? Because she's corrupt and a liar. Why? Because she's paid to lie. You want to hear the rest of her bullshit answer? Do you want to hear it? I- Care for all sounds is a good idea. But Medicare is not as good a benefit as the Affordable Care Act is for if you're below, if you're younger. Okay, that's a lie. She just made that up. She's she's here. She's doing what Jake Tapper does at, at CNN. She's telling you that the that the system we have now is better than Medicare for all. It's not. Not even close. She's lying. That's a. F- I don't know where she. Where does she get that from, Mark? How many people do we know under the age of thirty-five who do not have insurance? How many people do we know right? that work that are underinsured that cannot afford a medical emergency? These are people that have insurance. This is how big the crisis is here in America, and Medicare for all. There is literally no excuse not to be pushing Medicare for all at this point. It saves America trillions of dollars. It's good economics. It's good politics. And it's good morality. It's good. It's all those things. What? What? You want a healthy nation? Are you kidding me? You want people that are healthy and productive and able to take care of themselves and flourish? That, that's so, crazy. So when she says something like that, Mark, is it a stretch to say that she's just blatantly lying and gaslighting her own constituents? Because that's what that is. It's not better for people under 35, is it? No. Then that's what do you would you what would you call what she's doing there? <clears throat> she's pleasing her donors. Nancy Pelosi, Nancy Pelosi, her job is to somehow pacify the base of the Democratic Party, the voters, and also pacify the donors to the party so yeah. they don't get alarmed and so they keep the contributions coming in. Yeah. So and so to, and in order to do that, she sits in, in a TV studio in front of a room full of people and blatantly lies. And Joy and Reed doesn't. Of course, she doesn't push back. She's bought. And you know what? I I, I said this the other day, but if you find yourself in a studio audience and you see somebody who's a politician and you think they're saying uh, they're lying, they're lying and they're going and and start booing and start holding them accountable. If they're serving up a plate of bullshit to you like Nancy Pelosi just did, Steph's advice to you is to boo her. That's her advice. That's my advice also. So do you want to hear some more of this? This is. This stomach is her turning. This is stomach turning. And uh, so we either have to uh, expand the people who are getting Affordable Care Act in a way that they understand, or we have to improve the benefits of Medicare. Right. Medicare does not have a catastrophic plan. You have to go buy that. Right. So- <laughs> Medicare does not have a catastrophic plan. So we got we have. To, so she's saying we have that the ACA is better than Medicare for all. That's what she's saying because Medicare for all doesn't have a catastrophic plan. Do you know what the hell she's talking about, Mark? I haven't a clue. I don't have a clue what she's talking about. All I know is that the health healthcare insurance companies are not worth America not entering the 20th century, never mind the 21st century, and becoming a civilized nation. And why is an insurance company making profits? She's sitting there doing a Jake Tapper on this room and this journalist. And nobody says a goddamn thing. Nobody in that crowd says, what? You're trying to pull, pull a fast one and say the ACA is better than Medicare for all? You liar. You liar. It costs twice as much. It leaves out 30 million people. 
and 600,000 people go bankrupt on it that have freaking health care, health insurance every year. And we have worse results. But Jimmy, so this is this is why, and and all the progressives voted for her to be speaker. But Jimmy, at least it keeps the power in the hands of the healthcare insurance companies, <laughs> who are the real death yes, panels that's in right. America. You're right. Saying to people, understand what it is, what it means to the individual, mm -hmm. and that's a fair review that we should have. And you'll and have hearings now on that. We'll have hearings on the subject. And again, <laughs> I do you see, we'll have hearings on the subject, and then we'll have to figure out a way to kill it. So was the question about will Medicare be discussed? No, no. Um, it's, it's, it's gotten to such a confused point. I don't know what <laughs> yeah, she's talking I really about don't know. Okay. I don't yeah. even know. The original question was, how do you plan on fixing the ACA? And then Joanne Reed said, what about Medicare for all? And then she just went on a word. She just, just started doing this. She started saying that Medicare for all isn't as good for young people. It doesn't have a catastrophic plan. Like, what is wrong with you? You a liar. And this is why we have Trump. But, but there are a lot of people, most of them complete fucking corporate assholes, who will blame people with no money and power and not blame people like this. When did you ever see any of those celebrities? When did you ever see Billy on the street hold Nancy Pelosi's feet to the fire for not being for something that's popular? When have you ever heard one of those celebrities hold... When is that Susan Messing? Is that her goddamn name? Deborah. Deborah Messing? When has Deborah Messing ever held Nancy Pelosi's feet to the fire for letting down our country and suppressing the vote? And lying to people. Fucking never. Fucking never. Deborah Messing. Never. But she will voter shame and wag her finger at people with more talent than her. This is what's wrong with the country. This. There is no opposition. There is no party that represents workers or the people. This is what's wrong. This is weird, okay? So I went to Google really quickly. I know, search engine. I looked up catastrophic coverage, and it says Medicare.gov. And in the little phrase below, it says that uh, you automatically get catastrophic coverage once you've spent like $5,000 out of pocket. So here on Medicare.gov, they start highlighting that you have access to you catastrophic. Have, you have catastrophic coverage. Hmm, I, so I wonder what she so was talking she's lying, about. Oh, maybe she's lying once again. The, the lies never stop with corporatists who are bought and paid for. And that's why Nancy Pelosi is the leader. Why is she the leader of the Democrats in the House? Because she takes the most money from pharmaceutical companies, I'm guessing, and, and Wall Street and military industrial complex. So she gets the most corporate money, which is the most corrupting. She doesn't keep it. She gives it to the other people in the House, the other Democrats, so they can then go buy TV ads so they can run and be reelected. So now they owe her a debt. So now they vote for her to be speaker so they she can get more money for that. So you see this cycle, how it works, this insidious cycle of corruption. And that's why someone like this, who couldn't talk her way out of a paper bag, is the leader. And she's sitting there lying to you in front of a corrupted journalist on corporate TV. And you wonder why half the country doesn't vote. And you wonder why they suppress this show. Because they don't want you to know anything. Because pretty soon we're going to be like France because of motherfuckers like this who keep screwing you over and gaslighting you in public and shitty journalists like Joanne Reed, the scum of the fucking earth who doesn't have a, a bone in her body with any integrity in it to stand up to this shit. It's coming. The, fr the fucking yellow vests are coming. Our next live show is a stand-up show we're doing Thursday, January 24th in Hollywood at the Sycamore Tavern. $10 tickets Thursday, January 24th. Go to jimmydorecomedy.com for a link for all of our live shows and to find out when our live Jimmy Dore show is coming to your town. Plus, if you can, become a patron. We give you hours of bonus material every week. And remember to make sure you're subscribed. They unsubscribe people. You make sure you're subscribed. Click the bell so they send you a notice when we drop a video. Thanks for your support.